Well, the Pepsi I prefer Jubilee, but the Batman I prefer Oyster. 31 mil Oyster for petrol. The value is what's in the gold. It's the 116710B LNR. Did you get this for retail or have you bought that private? Uh, no, 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 keep it, keep, no, I think you need to keep that up your sleeve. Don't let <laughs> it see it. So you see the lighter blue is the yeah. Mark 1. Wow. 18 karat gold Rolex. They did 42 to 8238. It has what's called either a pie pan or a sigma dial. What you've paid for compared to what they used to be is crazy. Oh, like, used to be like nearly 100K. If we were buying it, we'd pay 3,900. There's the Omega on a bracelet. Ah, uh, yeah, okay. The super duper thing is this bit here. The new green face. Yeah. I think if I was to purchase the watch, it would be... This is 2018 Batman GMT2 Oyster Bracelet. It's the 116710B LNR. So is that the first generation? It is, yes. Right. Almost um, indistinguishable though, really, isn't it? When you're yeah. Very little than the newer one. It's got a different movement. It's got a crown in the middle of Swiss made. So they were probably upwards towards 20,000 12 months ago. And this will be probably closer to like 13, 13 and a half for us to retail. That with a, a light polish will be as good as new. We seem to have quite a few 22 models. They've crept down in price over the last three months. Mm -hmm. The ones that are older represent better value. Here it is. Oh, yeah, that have you seen one in person? He sold it on, but yeah, my very good customer came up in the rain to collect this Green Day Toner. You have got a part X as well, haven't you? So yeah. we'll see that as well. There we go. We've added the extra link for you as well. Fantastic. So that's 12 plus one, so yeah, full bracelet plus one. Yeah, it's nice, isn't it? The gold and the green just works so yeah. well together, doesn't it? Yeah, that's nice. That is looks good, doesn't it? Yeah, very good. You got one of these, didn't you? Yeah, what's up, Captain? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, the prices now, what you've paid for compared to what they used to be, is like yeah, crazy. Like, really like used to be like nearly 100k, and then obviously now yeah. it's way more realistic there. The, I think uh, the most we sold one for was probably like 85 to 90k. Was it? Yeah, I think at the time it was like $100,000, isn't it? Like they were going for, yeah. which is crazy. But that was on speculation, obviously, they might have discontinued. So yeah. if they did discontinue, let's hope they do. <laughs> <laughs> And it'll be back to us for something else, I'm sure. Uh, this is the part extra that's it. They did 42 to 8238, champagne, plain markers. I haven't seen one of these for a while. Well, you should get the baguette. You know the baguette dial or the black dial yeah. or the motif? And that's a 40, yeah? This is a 40 mil, yeah. yeah. New reference. That's a 2022 dated. Which do you prefer? So I know a lot of people would probably say no. the Daytona, but right. See ya. I'm Drop. sure there'll be a lot of people that will love the date as well. Oh, yeah. yeah, Daytona for me personally as well. But. Yeah, Daytona and Tech. The one with the green face. The new green face. Yeah. yeah. I've seen one but in person. I don't really like it that much. Is, no, because the green's very flat. It's not like this. Yeah. It's it's just a flat green. Yeah. And a little bit darker, so. That's like sunburst already. Yeah, exactly. So it's got the sunburst. But no. You happy with that? Yeah, love it. Thank you. Did you get this for retail or have you bought that private? Uh, no, I bought it off. You switch and swap your watches. Yeah, I love it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You must have owned every and, uh, single watch. I've got quite a few. So, so how can you tell that that is the original brain dog? Because of who we bought it from, we know it's original. 100%. Oh, you buy them in all good faith. Yeah, yeah, of course, of course. Bigger watches like this would know exactly where they came yeah. from and who they came from, you know, so. I'd probably buy a few of the dials if they were that good, if it was fake yeah, anyway. Well, yeah. <laughs> no fairness thought about doing that with this one. With the Seeing green, the green, yeah, green yeah, one. dial on it. And it's okay if you've got the original watch, obviously yeah. it doesn't really make a difference, it's no, just for you really. Definitely. Then take the dial back out when you sell yeah, it. Yeah, absolutely. It's no difference. I'll need... But you know, nothing's coming through from the dealers at the moment. Yeah, it's, it's gone pretty dry. Oh, a few of my yeah. customers have said the same well, thing. It's, it's weird, like, you know, we used to buy loads and loads and loads, but then in the last but year I think I've had two... Mm -hmm. a year ago it's, it's just like it's gone completely dead two of my customers said this thing. It went from having like five a year to like literally yeah. one phone call maybe yeah. every four months yeah it is 31 mil oyster for petrol with a silver dial and it has the champagne colour pointers were you looking to sell the watch or for us uh, to sell it for you just sell it I think has it been worn or not? It's been worn two or three, well, three or four times tops. It just it needs a polish. 
If we were buying it, we'll pay $3,900. That, that's okay, yeah. Okay. Uh, would you have identification with you, please? Uh, do you? Yes. What invariably happens is the watch that you've come here to show me, which I can see on your dad's wrist, Rebecca. That you really want to look the, at. Yeah. Is the one yeah. you want no, to look no, at? No, 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 keep it, keep, no, I think you need to keep that up your sleeve. Don't let <laughs> it's see. Your sleeve, it's like, like I'm a bit like a magpie. <laughs> so what I would say with the little Amiga is the value is what's in the gold. What I would say is if you don't need to sell it or you don't want to sell it. it's got a little bit of sentiment but it would literally be what the metal content is okay you'd obviously take the movement out believe it or not the box is very desirable and we are looking at a bowman mercia modern a brand that you see yeah. big now beautiful beautiful That's watch platinum. yeah yeah it's all platinum wow the value isn't in the watch the, the value is in the metal so those two, those two are metal value yeah. not that i'm trying to skip over these no, watches no, no. Yeah, yeah, this yeah. was given to me by my late father-in-law. I, I wore it longer than he ever did. Uh, so I've had it since 1982. Wow. And he had it from 71. Is that 71. Right? Yes. I would prefer to give you my advice, tell you Thank what you. I'd like to pay for the watch, mm -hmm. tell you what I would think that the watch would sell for, which is why I need all the information. Vintage watches have a value but they are worth what somebody will pay. Oh, it's like anything. It's the same as a classic car. It's the same as an oil painting. It's the same as modern art. Modern watches, which are, you know, what we've got hundreds of them in here. They have a fixed price because they have an RRP. And what they sell for, the desirable ones sell for more, but not so desirable ones sell for a little bit less. All of my friends, the children, are coming to the age where they're 18, 21. And mom, dad, this is what I want. And they ring me up and say, such and such is asking for a Hulk. I say, are you sitting down? Mm -hmm. Well, what's a Hulk? I'll say, it's a Submariner with a green dial, green bezel. The 15 to 20 grand. What? Mm -hmm. We say, well, I only spent two grand on my watch, so I'm not spending that on. So I always say, well, look at the other brands, Amiga, was always the brand that you could buy a lot cheaper, but now it's such good quality and the priced where Rolex aren't. Mm -hmm. So it's a great mm -hmm. one for an 18th or a 21st present. So, but let's move on to, wow. 36 mil, 18 karat gold, Rolex, day date. So everything about that bit is standard. Mm -hmm. It has, what's called either a pie pan or a sigma dial and this was only produced in the very early 70s so that the dial has a chamfer on the edge mm. so for for the engineers for people that are into precision it's got quite a bit of an appeal so that is desirable in itself the markers are a double marker so sometimes called wide markers again desirable i mean the bezel for a 1970 watch is in great condition. The winder is in great condition. I'm gonna to come to ask you, has it ever had any work that you know of or have you ever had any work done to it? The only thing I know was a, a, a new face, a new glass face. So that is plexiglass. So again, it's a, it's an age thing. In 1986, they changed over to Sapphire Crystal, which is quite inexpensive. The bit in the middle is your standard Rolex clasp, but the thing that is the super duper thing is this bit here, the metal. which your dad is smiling at because I'm not telling him something he doesn't already mm -hmm. know. I couldn't guess how many Rolex day dates have been made. <laughs> it will be hundreds of thousands. Obviously the serial numbers from Rolex will tell you, but I've only ever seen one or two of these. It's got a little bit of wear on from the class, but again, it's in very, very good condition. And um, there is a tiny little fracture there, which is, if it's addressed now, it can be very easily sorted mm -hmm. out. If it gets any further, it will be a problem. I am just looking, there's a tiny little bit there as well, but on a watch that's 53 year old, mm -hmm. that is the rarity. This is factory Rolex. I would say it's Marmite. 
unfortunately enough, it's something that I really like mm. because of its rarity. If this was a standard president bracelet, it would just be like any other watch that I see on a weekly, monthly basis. Mm. When the company in Morpeth did the little bit of paperwork that I've seen, yeah. I obviously saw the, the description. So everything that they've said is right. is right. It's got 1971 engraved on the back. That has a bearing because I don't, I used to polish them out, but now I leave engravings on because I just say that it adds character. Mm. I have a, a gold Rolex which has inscribed on the back, truly, madly, deeply, and it was a wedding present. The love, the truly, madly, deeply didn't last for long because I bought the watch when they got divorced. <laughs> yeah. So every time I look at the back of that watch, I get a wry smile mm. because truly, madly, deeply, only for a very short short period of time. I'm a, I am a bit of a sentimentalist as well, and I do like anything that's got history. So to replace this watch today for the modern equivalent is about £27,000. So if you went to Rolex and ordered a 36 mil day date with a gold baton dial on a president bracelet with a concealed clasp, it's about twenty-seven grand, And that's what most people would put down as an insurance replacement value. See, like this is a 2018, early 2018. Yeah. You see the bezel. I think that's long. Yeah. So you see the lighter blue is the yeah. Mark One. Yeah. And then the most recent one is like the darker blue. Yeah. You got a lighter red. Lighter as well. red as well. Yeah. yeah. So as a whole, it's a lot lighter. Yeah. You no, know, when you see them on Chrono, yeah. it says Mark One in the most yeah. expensive, even though they're three years older. But that's yeah. Different. I think seeing them next to each other is better. Oh, you can really tell because we were having this. We were having this discussion when they're not together. You can't actually tell, but when they're together, it's a massive. Is there any way to tell lot the numbers? But the numbers the same, aren't they? The serial. Yeah, the model number. Yeah. Model number is the exact same. It's just literally, so it's literally yeah. the bezel. So that's the only way you can tell is when they're next to each other. So this will be 2018, and then there was Mark Two, Mark Three. Yeah. So one of the earliest ones will be the lighter bezel. I'll grab that Amiga. Yeah. So it's a big difference to be honest when you're next one. There's the Omega on a bracelet. Ah, uh, yeah, okay. Uh, and have you got the one on the... the... Yeah, so there's the same model, but on the rubber. I prefer the rubber, personally. Yeah, I do, yeah. Looks really nice, like military green. You know, I've had this on order ever since they brought it out. I've had a lot of watches from... Yeah. And just can't get one. Just, they're not coming in stock. That's a white gold, a silver race, now that's a cool watch. Just been serviced by Rolex. What can you do that for, Josh? It can be 4750. 4750. Do they cost more money if you buy them with the metal uh, I think, yeah, so the retail price is high and the market price is a little bit higher. I actually prefer the rubber strap though. Yeah, I do. I grabbed the uh, box for Yeah, cool. And it's got the full box papers, yeah, yeah. everything, yeah? Yeah, I'll, I'll take that in, yeah. I'm getting on with the sprites. You selling any of them? Not selling or buy, well, containing them, but not selling them, no. We've had one in stock for like two weeks and we've, yeah. we're only asking 21 and a half grand. Yeah. It's not going anywhere. I bought one for 32. Yeah, I saw one for 45 grand, my good customer. Did you yeah, one? been blanking his calls. Nah. What's that? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm What's joking, that? I'm joking. Anything sub 20 for a Sprite, I think is good because realistically, they're not going to make the left handed version for a long time. I can't see them producing that forever, so put it that way, I think it'll probably discontinue. I think it looks nice on the Jubilee. Yeah, Jubilee's a lot nicer. Even on the left hand, though, I don't think it looks out of place. I would still be it on the left hand, yeah. Yeah, I would love it. Jubilee's nice, I think. Same with like the Pepsi. Well, the Pepsi, I prefer Jubilee, but the Batman, I prefer Oyster. I think it just yeah. works because it's obviously been out longer yeah. than I just prefer, but Pepsi on Jubilee works a lot better as well. I've sent you an invoice as well for that one. You've got everything on that. That's the paperwork, so that's the date. Yeah. Well, you have put that on the wrong oh, way, yeah. that's it. <laughs> that, well, yeah. that looks so much better, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. The Jubilee makes it look it a lot better. It looks so better. much better than the one he's got. Yeah, exactly. Can I take the strap off the Pepsi, though, then? Yeah, and you can put it on. Yeah. It would work, mm -hmm. yeah. Have you still got the Sprite or did you sell yeah, it? Yeah, Have you still got it? Oh, well, yeah, that's... Just put the, just just put the Jubilee on. I like it. So I'll put it on. I would yeah, get someone to do it because you can scratch the insides easy when you brace it, swap and stuff, but just go to, yeah, you could go to your 18 to just ask them yeah. to swap it, it's no problem. We're asking 21.5, brand new, full set. Could it have 17.50 for that? I would buy one for that, to be fair. <laughs> <laughs> but no, it's always good as well going into your 80 with the watches that you've had from them yeah. and just say, yeah, can yeah. you swap the brace that I really want it? Or then just say, you want one or, I don't so know if what? they'll give you two of the same model. Well, they've managed to get us everything in the passport. Yeah. yeah. It's just, it's just this last year. year. It's just this last year's complete. I think this last year, yeah, it has, it's, it's dried up a lot for a lot of people though. I wouldn't worry, I wouldn't stress But when you walk by it. the shops and that, there's nobody ever in there, is there? Nah, but well, it's pointless. It's a like yeah. use thing that they're trying to do as well. I don't know, it probably push the prices up for us, yeah. to be honest. The, the mm. prices they're charging for things is... Yes, yeah. I think it's going to be awful. 
But to be honest, it's so much easier dealing with the likes of yourself, you know. It's just not a pleasant experience, even though was, yeah. you buy a lot from it. It's not pleasant going into these places. Because you know. they just treat you as if, like, if you're not happy or you're not satisfied, don't take the wash because I've got a thousand other people that'll take it. You know and what I mean? We know it's so yeah, it's yeah, of course. We're not that stupid. You know what I mean? You don't just have someone walking through the town centre spending 40 grand on a holiday. It doesn't happen. Oh, we are still on the hunt for the box. You have the original box. Oh, I've got the box here. Oh, there's the box. I have the original box. Oh, wow. It's all wow, 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 wow. Right. Did you forget that? No, I knew that would be backpack. It's been to Rolex. Yeah, he used, to, he used to take it to Geneva. He was in the oil game. He used all to right. go to Geneva on a regular basis and get a service like G So, how have you got the original payroll? That's what we were looking for. That's what we were looking for. Yeah. Right. We moved house and then we're busy looking for it. We did this with a gentleman that came in mm -hmm. and I'd said to him, leave your watch with me for a couple of days. I need to do my checks. I said, do you have the box and papers? So I ran up two days later and he said, I'm just parking the car. I'm taking my wife out for lunch. I went, perfect. I need to speak to your wife. She said, hi. I said, I'm the gentleman that has your husband's watch. She says, yes, I know. I said, if you find the box and papers, you're talking about not a couple of hundred pounds, you're talking about between five and 10,000 pounds. She went, I'm going home now. I'll find the box and papers. <laughs> it took them about a week. And yeah. she went through the loft and they'd moved twice and they'd looked for it time and time again and she found the papers. And I gave them £10,000 more mm, for the papers. For that watch oh, because it was, that watch was a Comex, yeah. which is very, very famous. So I'll give you a value. You've got to stump a little bit. Mm -hmm. So I can't remember seeing a, one of these for sale in the last 10 years. I think if I was to purchase the watch, it would be between fifteen and sixteen thousand pounds. What I would like to do, I would like to do a little bit more work on it, mm -hmm. and I would like to be coming back to you and saying that I think I can sell that watch if it had box and papers for around about the twenty-five grand mark, and then come to some sort of arrangement. Whereas if I sell it for you, we do it on a commission basis. Mm -hmm. It wouldn't leave my possession without agreeing a price with you. Okay. Now, obviously, give me a little bit of feedback. It's not a bad valuation. Valuation on it from those people in Morgoth was 20, 28,000. So you're not far away. They've based that on the paperwork. That's what I'm going to find. It's very important. It is. That is the original box. Oh, yes. I would confirm that if in... 08 this watch went to rolex in this form mm -hmm. that that is original because rolex wouldn't yeah. do any work on the watch if it wasn't original uh, he went he used to we used to drive diddly to a hotel and he used to drop it off in geneva they gave him another rolex for the two three weeks were away he would drive back yeah, and stop his watches yeah that 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 was a thing that was done yeah was. i occasionally do it with people that say i can't bear to be without a watch mm. but Obviously, there's all sorts of implications oh, yeah. in the age that we live. It's so, changed in 50 years, hasn't it? Yeah. Give me a little bit of feedback. I am quite happy to purchase the watch. Obviously, if I purchase it, it will be the reduced, the lower price. But I would like to get you as much as possible. Would it be easier or more beneficial if we were to trade that in for two watches? Because my wife's seen a Breckling one she likes. Yep. She can't wear that one. Yep. And I've seen a Rolex Explorer with a black face, the new one, which I like. Harry, we're cooking on gas. I'm glad to hear. That's something we could definitely do. Chrono Mat 32. Which is the Breckling one. Right. It's stainless and gold. As well, and very gold. similar. Right, okay. It's got like a diamond edge face. The letters, they've got proper diamond inside. Well, yes. the diamond the so. yeah. Right, I'm just going to, obviously the thing that I haven't done is try the watch on. So I just need to see what, because obviously one of the things that we discussed yeah, is it the does. Side. Oh, yeah, I didn't know if it adjusted, but it does. It's the pin in the side that adjusts. It's the fitter. It's the same. It's a perfect fit, you don't need to alter it. Oh. And he's um, worn navy to make the gold pop as well, mm, I did notice Yeah, I did know. I have to put the same colour boots on. Oh, look at look that. Look at that. that. It's meant to Harry, be. you know how we like to get colour come on. <laughs> you need that, that picture. Okay. 
So, but it's a nice wearing watch. It's a beautiful. It's got a no captures. It's absolutely nope. smooth. We, if you decide not to sell it, mm -hmm. and you decide to keep the watch, let me get my goldsmith to put it back. You, this needs to be addressed yeah. sooner rather well, than Well, I got a price from uh, Northern Goldsmiths four years ago, £22,500 for the strap, replacement strap. Well, they would actually, so they would actually man they they could, manufacture it. Yeah, it had to be manufactured £22,500 for a new strap. Yeah, yeah. I'll repair it for a little bit less than that. Uh, that that's fine, I trust you. Brilliant. I used to wash that every, every week I with the epoxy. I used to wash it from, uh, from pocket money for epoxy. So I used to wash that and a bracelet. What's amazing is... I obviously would put this on the machine and pressure test it. I always say anything vintage, don't go in the water, don't. But yeah. this well, that hasn't been in the water yeah. for a this few years. This should yeah. still be waterproof, mm -hmm. right? I wouldn't chance it. I wouldn't no, risk no. it, no. I've got a friend was of mine eight. that was diving in Dubai just before Christmas, and he said, I've just gone like that to go down. And I saw this silvery shiny thing, thing shiny it? thing. He said, oh, I thought it was a fish. And then I looked, and his watch had come, oh. 20 grand watch had come <gasps> off his wrist. And he managed to get below it and catch it as game down to catch it because he'd yeah. said, I don't know. He'd said, But don't worry, when I took it up, the guys on the boat said they would have gotten it for me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Obviously, if you find the paperwork, you know what you're looking for to fold it's it over. Fold it over. It's folded over four, four times. times. Yes. And it comes in a little leather wallet. Uh, 1970, you'll not have any perforations in. It'll just be a, it'll actually, no, it's a smaller sheet of paper. It's four times. Yeah. Four times. It will make a huge bearing. Um, my brain is doing a million miles an hour at the moment okay. because I'm thinking we would market it, but I don't know whether it should go to an auction. The problem with an auction is they take 26%. Oh, I know, yeah. Which is yeah, what I don't like. Yeah. So, yeah, so, but let me just digest over there See next get. week. And you've, um, got, you've got our email address of... My number. Are you going to just... Retain these. We'll retain those. And if then, you decide, if we get to the nitty gritty, yeah, and you can give us some valuation on those two for weight wise. Yeah, what I would do is it. It's sacrilege, but thank what, you. That's what we would go. Yeah, with. Well, the uh, that watch was mum's watch. Right? You're probably going to be talking about twelve hundred quid mm -hmm. metal and about six hundred, maybe six to eight hundred quid. Yeah. So you might get a couple of grand. There. A couple of grand. There. Okay. So, lovely to meet you both. It's been a pleasure to meet you, thank you. Pleasure to meet you.